Okay, in this video, it's just going to be a quick summary of a couple issues with combining surfaces in AutoCAD and then exporting them to um, various programs, specifically for use in hydraulic analysis, either in HECRES or QGIS for creating watersheds. So what I have here is two separate surfaces right now. Um, we have our topographic survey. Um, so our survey went out and we have a very finite topographic survey which includes very close um, along the <coughs> this creek channel and then along this roadway for a, a small portion. And then I also have a larger DEM file um, which covers a bigger area. Um, obviously it's much costlier to get the surveyor to survey this whole area and is really only needed <coughs> for floodplain analysis. Um, but when you're running a lot of HECRES models, it's good to have this extra information to go along with your more finite topographic survey right along the creek channel and the roadway. Um, but to do this, <coughs> you want to stack these two essentially together as a single surface. Now there's a couple ways to do this, um, and I'll try to show you both ways, um, but there's a couple little hiccups that you have to deal with um, converting from Civil 3D to specifically HECRAS. Um, so the first thing what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and export this is our topo survey I'm gonna export it to DEM because I need it as a DEM file it came in as a land XML file and I need it as a DEM file just so it works within um, these other GIS files. So it, it keeps our coordinate zone which is Oklahoma State Plain North and I'm just gonna save it here as that. So okay. And so that'll take just a minute. So I'm exporting it just by itself um, and then I'll, I'll show you how to combine them real quickly within Civil 3D. Um, and I'll kinda show you why we did that in just a minute. Um, okay, so now to combine the surfaces, uh, and I have a separate video just on this, um, so I'll do it fairly quickly. We want to just create a blank surface. So we create surface, and we'll just call it combined. Um, I'm going to change the style to contours and triangles so I can see when it pops up. So we have our combined here, and essentially what we want to do is come down to edit and paste surfaces. So we're going to paste these two together and into a, a brand new DM or surface file. But you want to think of it as how we want to stack them, which one is the base layer and which one we're adding to. <coughs> so our DEM acts as our base layer, and so we stack that one first we paste that into the surface. So now we see all the contours and triangles from that. Um, and it is important to note when I brought in this DEM file, this, this only works if when you add the DEM file, you don't create surface from DEM, you just create a blank surface and then define it with the DEM file. And so that's an important note. Okay, so now we're gonna make another edit paste now our topo survey which is this one right on top of there okay and so now you see how it has redefined this area within the greater um, full boundary for our topo and DEM so now I'm gonna export this one and so that will be our combined one in the same method and so we'll just have it as combined and so while that's running, I want to show you here in HECRAS kind of one of the reasons that we'll need to do an additional step here. Um, so if we were adding, this is a new project I've started in HECRAS. If we wanted to add these surfaces within HECRAS, we'd go to RAS Mapper, and then we'd come... So we need to go to Project and create new RAS Terrain. 
So I don't generally do the PRJ file as a separate file. So what I'll do is I'll just click no here. And once you bring in your DEM file, then it'll ask you again if you want to use that file's projection. And then that's when I click yes. Okay. <clears throat> so if you remember, we exported to DEM in Civil 3D and it showed that it was keeping the Oklahoma State Plane Coordinate System that we had set in, in there. But if we come, we add this, and let's say we're going to add just the bridge one. And see, now here it asks, do you want to use that spatial reference? And we're like, yes. Okay. So now we go to Create, and we get all these errors that this CRS doesn't have a geodetic CRS. Somewhere between the two programs, the projection file in Civil 3D, when it exports, doesn't line up. And I don't know how this is across the board, if it's just these Oklahoma State Plane coordinate systems, um, but you get these errors, and it creates a problem. So what we actually need to do, and so it looks like that one's done exporting, is we need to go to QGIS, or any GIS program, but I use QGIS, and we need to basically reestablish these DEM files as their coordinate system. So let's bring in this high one, and it's saying there's no transformation available between the reference and this custom CRS. And essentially, even QGS is a bit confused. So what I generally do is I come, it brings it in and it shows it. But we'll right click on it and go to properties. And here it's assigning this OK83NF, OK which isn't quite right. Um, so we want to change the CRS coordinate system. I should have these loaded up here, but we're in NAD83 Oklahoma North US feet. So it's EPSG 2267. So I'm just going to click that and it's just going to change the assigned coordinate system to it. Okay. But another step I want to do, even though that retains that information QGS, it doesn't necessarily save it that way um, in the file. So now that I've done that, I actually want to export this again from QGIS using that CRS. Okay. So I'm going to come back here and just rename this Iowa. Correct. And save that. Okay. And it added it to the map here. But now let's go back to Hecras and pull up our RAS mapper and try this again. We'll create the new RAS terrain. Okay, we're going to try our Iowa correct and see if this works. Oh, I forgot. Since we did all that before, we made too many errors and it didn't like that. So what we actually need to do We'll start up a new new Hecrast, a new project. I'll just test. Okay. Now let's try this again. So again, no. And again. Now we go back to our Iowa correct. Now we want to use that spatial reference. And hopefully now, yes. Now it works, and now we've built it into our HECRAS. So we essentially have to, even though technically when we exported from Civil 3D, if you remember, it asked and it said, look, this is the coordinate system. And for some reason, HECRAS doesn't 100%, and even QGS doesn't 100% line up with the way AutoCAD references these files. Okay? So that's essentially the trick as far as how to get your files into HECRAS. 
um, and as well into QGIS. Another thing we've talked about is stacking the two. So right now we just brought in our, our topo file. Um, so I'm going to exit out of here and exit out of this. So again, we could do, we did export our combined DEM as well. So if we brought that into QGIS, it's got both. If we pull the same trick, oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do the properties and we'll change it to the, that first. And then it works a lot easier when you go to export it. And so I'll just do combined. Correct. Again, hit OK. All right. So now if we tried. Two. Okay. Now if we do the same thing grass with our combined topo survey or DEM we should be able to get now both of these working together and so now we have the whole area but we have the more refined data right in here based on our topo survey and then it lining up with this um, I will show you one other way um, to do this, let's exit out of that. So normally your DEM file that we added into Civil 3D in the first place, it's already in the right coordinate system and it works. So once we have exported our topo file and corrected it in QGIS, we can actually stack the two directly within RAS mapper because we can add multiple terrain files here and we can do it in the same way um, and so if we come and we stack them the same way we did the first time so we can take our This is our original DEM file, yes, and then we come in and go back to our corrected Iowa and stack on top of there. Let's see if we want it up on top. And now we can create the same raster within HECRAS itself. But again, the DEM normally comes in in the right because if we download it, in this case we download it from the OK Maps website, it comes in the right, um, uh, in the right projection, and so it works. It's only when exporting from Civil 3D that we have this issue. Um, so here now, we have our corrected topo that we exported from Civil 3D, corrected in QGIS, and then overlaid on top of our DEM file. And so that's basically the, the little trick or the little issue. Again, I don't know how many coordinate systems it works like this, but at least for the Oklahoma State Plain, both the north and south for the, the U.S. feet, um, it has this issue between Civil 3D and bringing it into GIS and HECRAS models. All right, that's it for this video.